Everybody was here, so let me just go back through that. So we have Missionary Brown, Missionary Samuel, Missionary Crooks, Missionary McCook, who will be officially uh, installed as officers of the Holiness Born Again Churches of the and the Restoration Center, to be exact. I had also said that when we came here, came here from Sav that our pastor came here as an evangelist, praise God, and he too, praise the Lord Jesus, will be up, up, appointed officially on the Sunday in convocation. He will be appointed as the pastor of the Restoration Center and also he will be an elder officially. So he is Elder Mary and pastor of the Restoration Center. The Lord has been good. It's been a long and winding road, but we say thanks to the Almighty God for making this possible. Praise God. I'm really overwhelmed and more, that's right, my young people, and more so grateful. Gratefulness flowing from my heart. We have a picture of the first year when we came here for Restoration Center, and that year, we had these young men, Brother Karen, you remember, Sister Amoy, and we had to put up a sign on the window to say, no church today, because it was just like a handful of us, and all of us just went to serve. But I know that there are some lovely people who, I know already I'm hearing, hey, that's under them, I come and serve them, I come and serve. There are persons who will want to come to serve, yes. But I hope that there will be some who will be willing to stay here for service. Can I hear a shout from those who will be staying here for service? My God, what? <laughs> praise God, we're going to have to pray hard for Sunday the 8th. The Lord will make a way somehow, praise God, praise God. 
Let's see how that's going to go. Praise him. Jesus help us. Jesus help us. We shall not close the doors. We shall not close the doors because there are persons who will be coming who expect to have service here who don't know about the Sunday. So I hope. Let's see what the Lord will do. I'll continue to pray about it and Pastor will continue to pray about it and we see what will happen. Now, time for our love baskets. Before that, clap yourselves. You've been awesome this month. You gave. So guess what? Because you gave so bountifully, we'll be giving two baskets today. Clap the Lord. Clap yourselves. The first basket today goes to a lady, a sister of the Restoration Center, one who is baptized in Jesus' name. She's still waiting on the Holy Ghost, and we're praying that it will be today. She has two sons, praise God. And she gave a beautiful testimony last week. Come, Sister Marianne Bowen, put your hands together for her as she comes at this time to collect her basket. God is good, God is good. Praise God, praise God. Yes, that's right. That's right. Please do enjoy and know that we gave that basket. We are giving it with love. The next basket goes to, actually, it's, for, oh, well, it's not for him alone, it's for his family, but I'm going to call him, I won't stress out the female to come, people looking all over. He's very tall, dark, and handsome, praise God. <laughs> Look around and see if anybody, all oh, the men in here fit that description. Tall, dark, and handsome. He wears today blue and white. He's an usher, praise God. He has one wife and a few kids well, praise God. <laughs> Come along, Brother Ryan, as you collect your baskets on behalf of Sister Kim and Sister Ari and the rest of the family. Oh, hush, it's heavy. I'm sorry, Sister Kim. The Lord bless you, Brother Ryan and Sister Kim. Where is Sister Ari? She's sleeping. God bless you. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Oh, you can ask the 5,000 hungry souls to pay. On the banks of the river, with two fish and five loaves of bread. What a he performed for the multitude But what he did way back then He can do it for me and you Baby, baby, he's an unkind God Yes, he is Oh, oh, oh Unkind God Unkind God Job said may not come when he wanted But he'll be there
How many know say in a church? Sometimes you need a praise partner. God, God. When you find a praise man who willing to praise God like you. God, God, grab your praise. That's why you have to watch where you sit down in a church. Watch this now. Watch this. Somebody might say, why are you not sitting beside me? A man is here, a man is me. You have to explain them and make them understand. So listen. I manage your car, manage me because me a praiser. I'm a praise God mad. God got somebody to understand. We observe the life of Samson. And if we observe the life of Samson and understand how he came into being. An angel came and told his parents who he was and what he was supposed to be. And uh, Samson was called by God even before he was born. I submit to the child of God today that we that are in the kingdom have been called by God even before we were born. I submit to the children of God that there is none of us that is ordinary. There is none of us that is just normal. Jesus spoke of the disciples and he said about them, and ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And when we look in the original Greek, we understand that the word that Jesus used when he made reference is a Greek word called dunamis, which means dynamite. It, it, it refers to an explosion, an explosive power. And this is why when a child of God becomes filled with the Holy Ghost, you can't be ordinary, you can't be quiet, you can't be all sanctimonious and stush like Are you with me somebody? When you're filled with the Holy Ghost, uh, oh God, you've got a dynamite power that is on the inside of you. Praise God. And this is why sometimes you are a disturber to some persons at your workplace. This is why there are times when you may be washing your clothes at home. You might disturb your neighbor because there's just something on the inside that just keeps exploding. And so the child of God needs to understand that God has invested something uh, tremendous in you. The Bible put it like this when it spoke about the Holy Ghost. It said, and we have this treasure. Somebody say this treasure. We have this treasure in an hurting vessel and now let's look at it the, the reality is some of us didn't come from the best home some of us didn't come from the best family and if you look at some of us some of us are the most handsome uh, and are not the most beautiful are you with me somebody some of us aren't the most educated and some of us aren't the most wealthy but then God is not partial as to who he will save are you with me somebody and and so when we look at the privilege that we have received to be who we are, but then the God from glory, the God who spake and it was done, the God who said let there be and there was, this God shows you as a vessel to put his spirit in. And the, the reality now is that we have to realize that if God has called us and if God had chosen us then we are to protect the vessel we are to protect that 
which God has given to us. Are you with me, somebody? And so now we realize that it is the plan of the enemy for us not to appreciate that which God has given to us. Are you with me, church? Uh, we, we read this morning uh, as we went through the Sunday school lesson and uh, the Bible said that by right, uh, according to the law of the land, Esau should have been the one uh, who obtained the blessing from his father. But then Esau truly did not appreciate uh, what God uh, had in store for him. Are uh, you with me, somebody? Uh, and so the Bible said that Esau uh, was hungry as he came home uh, and his brother made some uh, pottage uh, and offered him some and uh, Esau uh, just for food uh, he decided uh, to give up uh, his inheritance uh, he decided uh, to sell out uh, that which God uh, had in store for him uh, are you with me somebody uh, I want to tell somebody today uh, that what God has given to you uh, don't sell it out uh, don't give it up for any and anything what God has given to you is something precious is something special look at you ordinary boy look at you ordinary girl some of us may never get the chance to visit King's house are you with me somebody some of us may never get a chance to get the governor general to give us an invitation to come and to walk in his house are you with me somebody some of us may never get an invitation to Buckingham Palace to walk with Queen Elizabeth but now the Bible says because of the Holy Ghost we are walking in heavenly places in Christ Jesus is the church with me oh God you may be ordinary according to uh, where you were born. Uh, you may be ordinary uh, according to uh, your family genealogy. Uh, you may be ordinary uh, according to uh, your birth certificate. Uh, but how many knows uh, that when you are born uh, again, uh, Lord God, uh, it makes you uh, a brand new person. Uh, I heard somebody say uh, if any man be in Christ he is a new creature I might look the same but I'm different I might walk the same but I'm different I might talk the same but I got a new mind I got a new heart I might talking to the church and so things I used to do I do them no more places I used to go I go them no more because there's a change that has been wrought in my life I heard the song man said what a wonderful change in my life has been wrought not before but since Jesus came into my heart Somebody open up your mouth and magnify the Lord. Samson was a mockery. I want to say this to you. A lot of people think that it was Samson's hair that gave him strength. The boss here, Bobby, does it. It wasn't Samson's here that gave him strength. Samson's here was a symbol yes. of his obedience to God. That's right. That's Samson's right. here was a symbol of the commitment that his parents made before he was born. So it was not Samson's here that gave him the strength. Because the Bible says that when Samson shook himself, what guess what happened? The Spirit of the Lord came upon him. So the reality is, and your gift, may God save you. Right. And your singing voice, may God save you. 
and on my preaching that God has saved me. By grace are we saved through faith. Is the church with me? The Bible said that Samson, Lord God, he was being mocked. But even though you're down in any valley, man, tell somebody, you don't give up. Tell somebody, say, don't give up, man. Even though you're down in any valley, tell somebody, say, hold on, man. Your change is on its way. I feel the end coming on. Watch this. Tell somebody that even though you're a mockery, hold on, man. Your change is coming. Because Samson kept on uh, being mocked, uh, but little did they know uh, the devil I watch uh, and I enjoy himself. Uh, say my mock you, uh, but in the realize. Uh, so while you don't need any valley, uh, you turn to God uh, and I say, Have mercy uh, upon me, uh, oh Lord, uh, according to uh, your tender mercies, uh, blot out uh, my transgressions. Uh, yeah, God, Samson uh, was being marks uh, but while they were mark uh, Samson uh, was repenting uh, while he was repenting uh, his symbol uh, of obedience uh, was coming back uh, to somebody uh, I might have lost uh, my anointing uh, but I'm getting back uh, everything uh, that the devil uh, has stolen uh, I heard the song I said uh, I'm going uh, to the enemy's camp uh, and I'm going to take back uh, everything uh, that the devil uh, has stolen. Uh, give me back my husband. Uh, give me back my wife. Uh, give me back my children. Uh, give me back my job. Uh, give me back my peace. Uh, give me back my joy. Uh, give me back my sanity. Uh, I'm taking it back. Uh, my ear uh, is coming back. Uh, I say my ear uh, is going back. Uh, my anointing uh, is coming back. Watch uh, your devil. I was down in the pits. I was not down, but I'm going back up. Don't quote me on yet. I'm still running. Don't give me the 10 counts because by the time you reach nine, I'm back on my feet. I want somebody to know you may have lost the battle, but the war is still on. The fight is still on. Lift your hands in the house. My ear is coming back. My anointing is coming back. My purpose is coming back. My breakthrough is coming back. My seal is coming back. My commitment is coming back. My ear is coming back. I'm going to praise like I used to. I'm going to worship like I used to. I'm going to preach like I used to. My ear, my ear, my anointing is coming back. The word has gone forth, praise God. And before I go any further, praise God. I would just like to ask if there is any backslider in the house that would like to return to God. By the raising of your hand, is there any backslider in the house? Oh, no. Can the church Can the church worship God? Can the church of God get excited? The Bible said that the angels in heaven rejoice over one soul. Hallelujah. And I guarantee you that the angel doesn't have the experience that we have with God. And so we that have the experience, we should have been more grateful. We should have more excitement when we see somebody wanting to return to God. Hallelujah. We have two persons in the house that wants to return to God. Hallelujah to God. Can the church get excited today? Hallelujah. Can the church of God worship God today? Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Say God, you turn a message to a message. Load the messenger arrive. Committed to the journey, so me now go backslide. Looking through the spirit and a physical eyes. Ooh, to God me testify. Know me at the work of God and the boss. My whole life, he endorsed. Take me from the mood and put me in a A class.